Only two more days till Pentecost. I can't believe it. Since the day that Christ was crucified and was risen from the dead, we look to Pentecost, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. On my morning prayer walk before the sun rose, I was praying and contemplating the passage of Scripture that records Peter's message to the people. The Bible tells us in Acts chapter 2, verse 15, it was 9 o'clock in the morning, exactly the same time it is this moment, oh, 2,000 years ago plus, but it was in the morning, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit on Pentecost. Peter stepped forward and he began to quote the prophet of old. You'll recognize this verse found in Acts 2, verse 17. In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions and your old men will dream dreams. In the last days, I will pour out my spirit, even on my servants, men and women at like, no matter who you are, the Bible says God is going to pour out his spirit. And it doesn't stop with the outpouring or the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. It goes on to say about signs, wonders, and miracles following the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. It's found in verse 19 of Acts chapter 2. Do you believe in miracles? Do you believe in signs and wonders? Some people they actually believe, regrettably, that as we close the book of the writings of the New Testament authors, that so was the signs, wonders, and miracles. There's actually some people that believe that miracles came to an end. That's not what the Bible teaches the Bible teaches that as real as miracles happen in the days of Moses, in the days of Daniel or David, in the days of Christ or Peter or Paul, the same Holy Spirit is doing signs, wonders, and miracles today. Look at what the Bible says. And I will cause wonders in the heavens above signs and miracles on the earth below. And verse number 21, everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. We live in a generation of the outpouring in the presence of the Holy Spirit. Oh, I am so excited. Only two more days till Pentecost. Oh, I know some people, they think of 12 days of Christmas or maybe Lent before Easter. Well, I'm Pentecostal and I believe in the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit. I enjoy our time or season between Passover and Pentecost, praying and considering who and what the Holy Spirit has done and is doing today. And that's right. If you're reading with me, you know he is working in our world with signs, wonders, and miracles. One final thought in Acts chapter 2, as we're coming so close to the day of Pentecost, is the word everyone. Here we find at the very end of this prophetic word in verse 21, Everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. That's right. Any person, any person that would call upon the name of the Lord will have salvation. But in the same chapter, we read that everyone that was present was filled with the Holy Spirit. That's the baptism. Oh, think of it again. Everyone that calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. And everyone that seeks God's gift of the Holy Spirit will be filled. Father, I pray your blessing upon each and every one. I thank you for the 
beautiful spring morning walk I enjoyed today. My appointment with you before I begin my day, walking and praying and worshiping, allowing the Holy Spirit to speak to my heart. I release your spirit right now. Keep each one safe. Let your grace go before them and let your peace be within them as your face shines upon every heart. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. You be blessed today and always remember, God does love you and so do we. Be blessed.